2126 is the time when I activated the headlight. Range 200 meters, uh, range rate is 0 decimal 1 approaching. We have uh, Prichal. Okay, uh, monitor is the final approach process. Yes, we confirm final approach, Prichal. I see that the range is decreasing and we see the increase of the range rate approaching the station. Copy. And the Soyuz MS-26 spacecraft has finished its period of station keeping and is now beginning the final approach to the International Space and reinitiating that docking sequence. Again, Soyuz uses an automated radar-based system called CORS to dock to the International Space Station. Range is 175 meters, 0 decimal A3 is range rate approaching the station. And the active portion of the CORS system is on Soyuz with the passive equipment on the station and between the active portion on Soyuz, it sends a radio beacon signal to the pas passive portion on the space station that updates information on the range and rate of closure. And the vehicle is now about 150 meters away from the International Space Station and continuing to close in. Range 135 meters, range, range uh, rate is 0 decimal 79 approaching the station. We are just moments away from that docking of the Soyuz MS-26 spacecraft and just three hours ago at 11.23 a.m. Central, 12.23 p.m. Eastern, the Soyuz lifted off atop its Soyuz 2.1A booster, propelling it into orbit. Shoot fine tuning. Yes, we see the blinking on, in the video. If it's not too uh, much trouble, then could you adjust the AGC mode? Yes, we also see the blinking in, um, in our video. And the Soyuz MS-26 spacecraft and the International Space Station are currently flying east of Casablanca as the Soyuz closes in on its final approach to the International Space Station. Following initial contact and capture, there will be a period of just a couple of minutes to allow the relative motion between Soyuz and the International Space Station to dampen out on the docking interface that is between the two. Working. Burlak one speaking, it's not working to get a better video quality than we have now. Copy. And the vehicle is now meters, less than 80 range, meters. Zero, approaching the station. There will be an eclipse uh, in about three minutes. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. And the vehicle is about 69, 69 meters away from the International Space Station and closing in at a rate of about 0.3 meters per second. The rate of closure once it gets to contact and capture will be about a tenth of a meter per second. Again, the docking... Range rate is 017, approaching the station. The crosshairs are aligned. Again, the docking of the Soyuz MS-26 spacecraft will dock, it'll dock to the Rosviet module on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The vehicle is now about 47 meters away. Assess the activation. We confirm assess the readiness. Uh, the uh, probe is extended. Copy.
Range is 40. Three meters. Range rate is 019. Approaching the station. The cross here is aligned. About half its cell is uh, the deviation from the electronic crosshairs positioning. And there on your screen, you can see the crosshair view from the Soyuz MS-26 spacecraft looking onto the International Space Station. And in the bottom left, you can see that range and rate of closure. Range is 40 meters, the range rate is 015, approaching the station. Deviation between the RF cost center and the um, crosshairs of the target are about one cell. And there on your screen, you can see the view from the International Space Station looking to the Soyuz MS-26 spacecraft as it continues to make its final approach in for docking. And on the front of the Soyuz spacecraft, you can see that docking probe. Once the contact and capture takes place and we allow the relative motion to dampen out that docking probe, the forward docking probe on the Soyuz that you see will begin to retract and then hooks will close and we will have what is known as a hard mate range between uh, Soyuz range and station. Meters, uh, range rate inaudible. Approaching the station. Crosshairs are aligned. It does match the center of the OSCA. And the Soyuz spacecraft is now 30 meters away, closing in at a rate of 0.13 meters per second. At the time of contact and capture, that will be about a tenth of a meter per second. And you can hear some conversations between the crew on the Soyuz and teams on the ground as they were aligning yeah, we're the crosshair camera. Uh, yes, go ahead. Should we leave this video as is? Yes, leave it as is. Should we leave it? Yes, go ahead and leave it as is. Copy. Yes, we confirm inaudible. We have Baza Air confirmed. Copy. We have digitally crossed 20 meters. The crosshairs are aligned. Uh, the uh, target crosshairs are uh, matching the crosshairs on the Vesca. And the International Space Station is in a brief but expected handover period, but we are continuing to get these views from the Soyuz MS-26 spacecraft. And they were confirming that the spacecraft was aligned with the docking target on the International Space Station, which you can see in that crosshair view on your screen. And the vehicle is now about 15 meters away from the International Space Station, closing in at a rate of 0.11 meters per second. Range is 15 meters, the range rate is 011 approaching the station. Range is 10 meters. Crosshairs of the target are matching uh, the electronic crosshairs on Vyaska. And the Soyuz is now 10 meters away and continuing to close in on its docking target. Crosshairs of the target are aligned and aligned with the center of Vesca.
And we are now standing by for contact and capture. Visually, we see three meters. We're expecting contact. We confirm contact. We have capture uh, 2232, capture. And we have confirmation of contact and capture of the Soyuz MS-26 spacecraft to the International Space Station at 2.32 p.m. Central, 3.32 p.m. Eastern, as the space station and Soyuz were flying 260 statute miles over central Ukraine. And give us the spherical tank readings and the propellant. And the forward pr docking probe on the Soyuz spacecraft is now beginning to retract. After that retraction is complete, hooks will begin to close. 185, propellant 493. Copy. Uh, work uh, for page 57. Copy. We're working for page 5-7. Yeah. You can turn off uh, the headlight. Ascending command R7. Ascending command R7, turning off the headlight. That would be C18-18. Turns it off. Uh, close at a 1. Uh, we're going to start uh, the one-time monitoring sequence. Started. Could you tell us it's on uh, 22, 34, 0, 1, 